So this is gonna be a pretty hard one to explain. There's a lot of nodes involved, but worst case scenario, you just don't get what's going on and you just download the free Gumroad product. So everybody wins. So I'm sorry to break the news to you, but me and for sure you guys too, we're all absolute fucking idiots. Meaning that there's no way that we're gonna make this node network from scratch. It's probably smarter to take this whole thing and separate it into steps that we can do one at a time. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna need to make a symbol selector, a way to tile this, a way to make it random. And then also, you know, those wavy lines. We need to incorporate all these things together somehow. So let's just do it. As you- oh. As you can imagine, to make a symbol selector, we're gonna need some symbols. Makes sense. What I did is I went to defont.com, which is a place where you can get a bunch of fonts, and I looked up Matrix and found something that I think ended up being Japanese. At the time, I didn't realize it, but whatever, you could use whatever font you want. And our goal here is to turn all these letters into a big sprite sheet. In this case, it's gonna be 26 letters long, and the way I did it is I used animation nodes to quickly flicker through the letters, which I turned into an image sequence, and then there's this nice website that can convert a GIF or an image sequence into a sprite sheet, so we have that handled. Want to use this as an image texture? Nope, not gonna work. Instead, take your texture coordinates and separate them by components. Choose what letter it is you want and also incorporate in the X value, which, you know, just add them together. Picking a letter, that's pretty cool, but you know what's cooler? Picking a letter without sliding. Yeah, that's really cool. You think you're getting away with one letter? Nah, many letters. How do we do it? Well, you scale, you fraction. <laughs> That's pretty much it, it just does it. Of course, we want this to look a bit more random, so maybe we can use some white noise to drive the value instead of what we have going on before. So just set up the white noise as the value. You know what pisses me off about white noise? It's too sensitive to its seed value. Meaning we're out here getting noises like this, whereas we want something a bit more staggered to drive our letters to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is we need another white noise just to control the seed value of our white noise. But then of course, this also needs to be animated. So just do that with drivers. And then not only can we control the speed of this letter changing, but we can also control how many letters are changing, which I guess is a, it's a lot of control. Boys, we've almost made it to the end. One more fucking step and then we're done. We need lines from the sky. How, CG Matter, how do we get lines from the sky? Well, first of all, we're gonna need the Y component of our UV map, which we can transition up and down, but we don't wanna do it by just any amount. We wanna do it by a white noise amount, as always. Let's also bring some time into this so it's animated over, you know, frames changing. And finally, we have the issue that this thing is in looping, so just throw in a modulo because that's what modulo does. You wanna take the letters from before, you know, those random letters. You wanna take these stripes, multiply them together, and boom, you've made, you've made matrix code. So you know how in the matrix they learn stuff by plugging a cord into the back of their head? Well, the sponsor for this video, Skillshare, is pretty much that, except you don't need to plug anything into the back of your head. And Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes about things you're probably already interested in, like photography, graphic design, 3D animation, 2D animation. Beyond this, they also have online workshops, so you can actually take classes alongside other people. And one class in particular I want to recommend is how to make merch with Draplin. You've probably seen Draplin before, or if you haven't, you've probably seen his work. And this class takes you not only we through, you know, design stuff, which is what you would expect, but there, there's also some business stuff. And the premium membership of Skillshare, which by the way is ad free, is already super affordable at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But, and this is, you know, this is the important but, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of the premium membership so you too can explore your creativity.